It was a very busy September for the entire ShareCart team. Let's go over all of the major new capabilities that are available to you in ShareCart right now. Let's go ahead and start with order spam protection. If you've been in e-commerce for any amount of time, you know this is a massive problem for WooCommerce is spam orders. And this is maybe a bot or someone manually trying to test stolen credit cards on your store and it could lead to lots of problems. We already do some rate limiting, but we've added some additional enhancements. So let's go take a look at those. I'm gonna go to Surecart. I'll click on the settings and you'll see right here, spam protection and security. Now by default, we're going to have Honeypot enabled, but if you also want to add reCAPTCHA version three, and I would suggest you do, just go ahead and toggle this on and you're gonna have to go to reCAPTCHA and get a site key and a secret key. It's free, doesn't cost anything. Just go ahead and pop those in right here and right here and you'll be in better shape. But like I said, we already do something called rate limiting. So if your site gets 100 orders a day and now it's getting 100 orders per minute, we can be reactive for you and rate limit that down and send you an email notification. And this is one of the major benefits of using a platform like Surecart versus something that's fully self-hosted where you have to have your eyes watching it 24 seven. With Surecart, we're watching it for you 24 seven. Next, we've added per customer purchase limits per product. So this is in the case of you're selling a subscription and it doesn't make sense for someone to buy it more than once or a membership, or if you have a product where you want to limit how many a person can purchase, we just added it and it's so easy. Hop into your product, scroll down over here on the right, toggle this on and enter in a number and the buyer can only purchase this quantity of this product. Like everything else with Surecart, we made it that easy. Next, we have added subscription renewal reminders for the subscribers of your products. You're gonna have to turn this on. So you'll want to visit settings, click where it says customer notifications. And here is where you can manage all of the notifications that go out to your customer. You'll want to toggle on this right here where it says subscription renewal emails. And along with all of our emails, if you continue scrolling down, you'll be able to customize the text inside of it right here. We have some new integrations. The first one is Lifter LMS. So this would be under products, go into any of your products. And then when you go to integrations, this is Learn Dash integration, I have Learn Dash disabled. So that's why it's showing that. But if you go on the list, you'll see right here, it says the Lifter LMS courses. It works like all of our other integrations. And we've also integrated with Thrive Automator. So this is an automation tool. So this site right here, I have Shortcut and Thrive Automator installed. So I'll go to Thrive Automator and you can go here to create a new automation. You'll see the Shortcut logo, you can click on it. And here are the triggers that are available. Now let me talk through these really quick. Product or subscription is purchased. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Product purchase is revoked or subscription cancels. This is what you're gonna choose if someone cancels their subscription or the subscription payment fails twice and then the subscription is automatically canceled. That's gonna be this option here. And if you issue a refund, whenever you cancel an order or issue a refund, there's a revoke button in the order screen, once that revoke button is clicked, then this will also be triggered. Now this is for the subscription plan changing. So we have the upgrade and downgrade functionality and that's what would trigger this. So when you click on any of these, as a matter of fact, when you click on it, there is parameters here in conditions. And you can see in this one, it's the previous product and the previous product name. So you would be able to uh, see that and do your automations based upon what the new product is right here or the previous product. So you can now have automations built inside of Thrive Automator that are triggered by Surecart. So if you want to sell something in say Thrive Apprentice, which is a course platform that is in the Thrive suite of products, you can easily do that now.
So those were some of the under the hood improvements. Now let's go over some of the design improvements, the new things that have come to SureCart. The first one is gonna be that we now have a native Elementor module. So you no longer have to copy your short code after you create a form into Elementor. We now have a module for it. Let me show you how this works. Here I am inside of Elementor and you can see right here, it says SureCart checkout form. You can just drag and drop this where you would like that checkout form to be. Then over here on the left, you would choose the form that you've already created. You also can create a new form if you wanted. So I'm gonna choose the form fun with cooking. If I wanted to edit something in this form, I could do it right here. Let's go ahead and style this up like that. And you can see now I have my checkout forms natively inside of Elementor without needing one of the short codes for the form. And of course you get the styling options right here for that. Next, we've made some really nice improvements to the donation block. And now you can put text inside of the donation button labels. So here I have a form. So I'm gonna click inside of the, the checkout form itself. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the options expanded here and get that donation block in there. So I'm scrolling down. Here it is, donation. Let's go ahead and add it to the top right there. And I need to choose my pay what you want product. And by default, we give you this grid and you can delete these, change them, remove them, rearrange them, whatever you want. You can just click on them. You can also add additional options there, but let's go ahead and change some of these to text labels. So let's go with this. Let's remove this $2 one. Let's go on the $5 one over here on the right. It says label for donation. So we'll give you an example. Buy me a cup of coffee. Why not that? Buy me, let's see, me a cup of coffee like that. And since when you put the label, it doesn't show the actual dollar amount. You can put that in there like this, five bucks. And you can do that for all of these labels. Just go ahead and click into it and add the label in there. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun using this. Next, we've added dark mode, and this is going to make your forms as well as your customer area appropriate for dark backgrounds. It's very easy to enable. So I'm gonna click right here where it says settings, and then I'm gonna click here where it says design and branding, and you can see select themes. This is a beta feature. Uh, you can change it to dark and then click on save. And this is automatically gonna change the way the forms look, all of your forms. Let's take a look at that. I'll go to pages and I've already created a page with a dark background to kind of demonstrate this. Right here, I'll click on view and you can see how I have the dark background, but what it does is it adds the right color scheme for the buttons, all the elements that make up a checkout form. It looks really, really good. And it's also gonna take this same color scheme and apply it to the customer area. Oh, hey, look, buy me a coffee. I can go ahead and click on it and it adds the $5 right there. And lastly, we've made significant changes and improvements to the login flow when your buyers are wanting to buy things and log into your site we've made some changes. Now we've always had an option for the checkout forms to add the password field to it. So you can see here's the block and you can see I've already added it right here and you can change your labels and the placeholder and all this kind of stuff. But you could just as easily not have your buyer set a password when they check out. And what will end up happening is they'll have an account on your website, but there's no password set. So what will end up happening is when they end up going to the customer dashboard, we display a notice right here that says, hey, you haven't set a password up yet for your account. Uh, click this button to set up a password and then they can click on it and set up a password right there. This is gonna make it easy for the buyer if you don't want them to have to do the magic login, which is a passwordless way of logging into your website. I actually think it's better, but not everyone shares the same kind of sentiment. So there'll be this notification here for them to set the password. Now they could have always set the password. It was really simple. All they had to do 
do, well, it's simple, but it was buried, right? They would go to account and we don't have anything here that says password. We still need to add that, but they would click on update. And then right here, they could change their password. That was too buried, obviously. So now we have a notice there, but the major change with logins, I just need to explain to you. So the way we had Shortcart set up prior to this last update is whenever someone would purchase they're not automatically logged in. And this is for security reasons, right? So if I know someone has bought all these things and I know their email address, I could buy something for a dollar, use their email and be automatically logged in and access all their stuff. So there's security issues with auto logging in. Uh, but we decided you know, there's actually no security issues with auto logging in in the case when someone has not created an account on your site before. So they're a new customer. So we made a significant change. So now when someone places an order on your site and it's a new customer of yours, they're going to automatically be logged in. So when they end up on the order summary page, they're automatically going to be logged in. They can immediately access their downloads or their course content or any of that kind of stuff. And if you didn't have them set up a password, on the checkout form, I totally understand. Then when they go to the customer dashboard, they'll be prompted to create their password. We're just trying to eliminate all the friction that users have typically when logging into websites. And I think we've nailed it. Now these were the major improvements, but there was actually a whole lot more that we released in the three updates in September. So you might want to check out our change logs if that interests you. Now, I just actually wanted to put you on notice of something I'm so excited about. And that is we are going to be making a big push into physical product pages, the shop page and having that traditional e-commerce experience optionally, if that's what you want. But like with everything we do at Surecart, we're not going to just simply do what's already on the market what you see with other e-commerce tools. We're going to do something entirely different and it's going to make your head spin. Mark my words, it's coming. You are going to love it. So keep watch for that. So that's it for our updates this month. We need your help to spread the word about Surecart. There are so many people that don't know about it yet. And of course, it's a newer e-commerce platform. So when you are in social media, you're on Twitter, you're in Facebook groups, I want to ask you to share about Surecart, suggest Surecart, recommend Surecart. It's going to help Surecart to grow, which ultimately ends up benefiting you. So you'll continue to see more feature packed updates that you saw in the month of September. Now, if you could go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, it's going to help this video get spread around. I would really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about these updates in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.